Hello and welcome to an episode of The Hinge. We are in a uh, th- th- fucking like garden. Yeah, we can it's dry inside because of the virus. Down. So um, we have to be outside. Happy Christmas, guys. This is probably the last video, depending on when I'm terrible, this comes out, that you'll see uh, before Christmas time. So happy Christmas or whatever you celebrate. There is literally a drip that keeps going right <laughs> onto <laughs> your head. Not tiny, Tim. I've completely done a 180 on uh, Cyberpunk. Just enjoy it, if you can still buy it. I yeah. think now you can't. But I'm actually really <laughs> enjoying it now. Check. Just actually, you should get it now. Yeah, you um, should get it now. The updates, you can't get it. the hot fixes have actually done it loads about. Is I'm having a lovely time. Is it still on the PS5? Um, no, because it's on store. the PS store. Because it's, it's a PS4 game. Oh, uh, okay. So it's They've not even on the PS... It's not, so yeah. you can't even access it on a PS5. You just have to buy a physical copy. Oh, so there, is, there are physical copies. Yeah, yeah. But are the physical copies going for a shitload of money now? I don't even think of that. Man, Lauren, Mark, we're going to fly through. We're going to have to do every yeah. plot point. We'll make it on the last episode. There are three episodes we've missed that we've not discussed uh, on camera. So, first one. Bob uh, Fett's back. Bob Fett's back. Well, Bob, yeah. Yeah, Bob Fett's back. That Bob episode was, back was just... But, no, but it was but in his suit. He's in his suit, yeah. yeah. I know he said... We, I did, well, I definitely said I didn't really want more Bob Fett. I was quite happy with more Bob Fett. Yeah. Episode. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I, I also probably did say as well spoilers for the last episode if you've not watched it uh, I did also say I don't want any Jedi or anything like yes, that yes we said that Ahsoka don't link Luke. it don't link it to the, the original trilogy yeah, I don't want, any I don't want anything thing, yeah. like that but then when it happened I was like yeah, that, was, <laughs> yeah that felt nice yeah, yeah, that but that the Bob Fett one I liked it it was, it was actually really most one of the most straightforward episodes where it was literally lands in one place yeah that was actually it loads uh, of stormtroopers attack why did he take his fucking jetpack off yeah, like, no he sense. took it off and then he ran up and down the hill three times with the jetpack just there. A lot of the episodes are based uh, on where his jetpack is and where the baby yes. is. And if they were just in somewhere safe or just on him, he'd be absolutely fine. Yes. It's like Seinfeld, why they never got phones. Oh, yeah. All the problems would be solved if they had a phone. Yeah. Obviously, it's 90s, so no. Anyway, carry on. I like this a lot. This I, episode. I, yeah, I did really enjoy it. I liked also the fact that they fought a million stormtroopers and then Boba Fett flies off into the sky and goes, oh no, it's the Imperials. Yeah. <laughs> says, we better leave. It's like, what did, what did what you think? think it was? What? Yeah, he's like, they're back. Who yeah. are the Empire? It can't be. And it's, it's like, like what? You just everywhere. fought. Yeah, two battalions were the yeah. stormtroopers. I did love him just using all. It, I was. It was getting flashbacks of looking through my uh, DK uh, Star Wars encyclopedia thing of like Boba Fett, and it's like all these little armor things, like knee yeah. rockets. It's like they're never going to use knee rockets, and, and then they cool. use the knee rockets. That is really. And when cool. he just punched that guy. When he uh, took down those two ships as well, that was really... Yeah, that's meant to be from, like, um, I don't know, it's like the Magnificent Seven or something. That, that was the greatest shot I've ever seen. Worst. I was aiming at the horse. I did get Resident Evil 5 vibes where she pushed that big boulder off the top of the mountain with her right, feet. Okay. Yeah. I'm still shocked she's 57. Yeah, that is And really she's Chun Li from the Street Fighter movie. Yeah. Do you know we Kylie Minogue and Jean-Claude Van Damme? I think there's Kylie Minogue in that. Yeah, she's Cammy. Actually, the next episode. Actually, all three were actually probably the best of the season. I'll say this now. Aside I, from maybe the first I one, felt, I really enjoyed that first episode. Yeah, I rewatched the first episode. I really enjoyed it. I thought this series didn't start off weak, but I was a bit worried early mm-hmm. on, and it's and I thought it really like turned itself around. Yeah, it did definitely. I think I think like the Bill Burr episode, the the, the, the next, the, the what's it called, the getting the radium. What's it called? It's not radium. What it's, is it? Yeah, uh, the, the explodey stuff. Yeah, the explodey stuff. Um, to, uh, to, to to the base. I thought this whole thing was really, really smart. I thought. Bill Burr's interaction with the Empire yeah, very, was really, uh, really cool. Glorious bastards. Yeah. And just them all shared the Empire. The, because all the soldiers, I know it's all the, all the time, but it's the whole, most of the soldiers are just soldiers. They're yeah. not rebel. They're just, like, if you join the army in Star Wars, most of the time you're going to be just joining the Imperial yeah. Army. Exactly. So they're all humans. No, I, even I, though we mow through them, like, Boba Fett kills 20 guys. It's like, yeah, kill those people. It's like, they not that, bad though, guys. Bill Burr did just go and murder, like, he killed the officer, but then yeah. he also <laughs> killed everyone else in there. Really sad he did get killed in that mining accident. Though. That was like, yeah. that was was, a shame. Well, was it a mining accident? No, it was Operation Cinder. No, no, he got killed in an episode of that mining accident. Oh, yes. yeah, yes, that, yes, yeah. No, Cinder's killed. from Battlefront 2. Yeah, too, which I've not actually played. I've had it and then just, I couldn't play it. <laughs> no, I've not so, played yeah. the end part. Squadrons is good. It's going to be really good, though. Battlefield, Battlefield 2 now is going to be another one of those yeah. ones that got destroyed at the start and then. The new thing now is just up. shit out bad games and yeah. then slowly improve them and yeah. sell them for like five quid on Well, I mean, that is, that's not that bad. I don't, yeah, know, I don't hate that. I think it's better. But I really loved the Bill Burr one. I, it was kind of a filler episode because essentially I thought it was going to be getting Bilbo out of prison or whatever the episode but it was literally like okay we've got you Bilbo where's thingy oh I don't know but a computer probably on this place knows the whole episode was just basically just going googling something yeah. on and a that, computer that whole scan your face yeah oh you've got a face <laughs> oh great have, have all yeah. the information like 
He's so oh, stupid. So stupid. I really, really enjoyed the Bilbo episode. I know it's not his episode, but to me, he sort of him and Mando just had a great little chemistry. Yeah, and I really thought that when he obviously takes his helmet off and he has something after chats that guy, yeah. I feel like a lot of that had probably worked out a bit with Bilbo because thought it just sounded like Bilbo going, yeah. "Oh yeah, we call him uh, Brown Eyes." Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it just sounded like they'd, they'd done it a few times. Yeah, it's like it just felt very na- let him do what he does. Yeah, and we'll just see how and it goes. Just, it felt natural, um, but then he also I think he really sold it when he was obviously well, talking to that guy who Joe Chill from Batman Begins. The final episode. <laughs> Let's just go down into it. That was fucking insane. Yeah, that I'm was... trying to even remember how they just. How does that one even start? It starts off with Boba Fett chasing after the shuttle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, taking control of the shuttle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then seeing those two little empire, the two little empire guys. One of them's quite bad. One of them's quite good. Yeah, one guy. He always went a bit jokery for he a bit. Went he was like, oh, like <laughs> yeah. He like the kind of I thought mouth. he did yeah. the mouth thing as well. Yeah. I thought he went fully mental. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, I'm gonna be on Star Wars. I'm gonna make the fucking most out of yeah. this. Um, but yeah, I don't even know why he did that though. Like, yeah, it was a bit he weird. He probably should have just killed the clone guy. Where is the clone guy? What do you mean? Oh, where he's is just, he? Oh, I think he's just sat on that shuttle. Is he on the shuttle? Where's the shuttle? Where's the... the shuttle got so smashed just, into, oh, yeah, so into, just sat into in the setting out tube. Yeah, I think so. I don't know what's going on with that ship. I feel like we sort of left it after... After Luke left, it all sort of ended before it just us. Suddenly, so yeah. we don't know if they might all still be on, on the ship. They could use the ship, I guess, right yeah. around. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, that's what Bo-Katan wanted. Yeah. Because Bo-Katan oh, yeah. wanted to use the thing. Anyway, so we start off, we get Persian. Uh, Dr. Persian, is that his name? Yeah, Persian. Yeah. Persian, yeah. yeah. Um, and then there's a bit of a cool fight between uh, Bo-Katan's right-hand lady and yeah. uh, Bob Fett, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was pretty I cool. I don't fight. know, it was a bit like... Look oh, at, we shouldn't be fighting. Like, yeah. why do we use this power against the Empire? Not, why are we fighting against each other? Yeah. And he's like, I never said I was Mandalorian. And then the previous episode, he's like, he says, yeah. I'm Mandalorian. And also, <laughs> like, she's like, she's like, oh, there's more than one kind of way. And then she's, but she's like, but you're a fucking clone. Yeah. Like, so it's like, oh, you can take off your helmet, but you're yeah, also she, but not allowed to be a clone. Kind though. of like is rubbing up a lo- the wrong way a little oh, bit. See, like, I, yeah. Well, I like Bo-Katan because I, I think I know her quite a bit better. But like, oh, that's sort of Clone Wars stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, but if you, oh, she's just a bit like. I don't yeah. know, ancient, it's all ancient stuff, and then it's like, well, you won't take, go out the lightsaber, the dark saber off. But she took it in Rebels from yeah. Sabine, who just stole it from Darth and Maul. Just, you, 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 she stole it from Darth Maul, she gave it to she gave it to thingy, and she was like, yeah. But maybe she thinks that that's a bad thing now, because she's it didn't go particularly well for her in the past. Yeah. But maybe it, it disobeyed her. But it was fine with Sabine. For some reason, Sabine was allowed to steal it, and they were all like, oh, you're the god of thingy. Weird. Annoying. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker, this was insane. Who did you think it was as soon as the X-Wing came in? As I knowingly that's one thing I'd spoil. I knew Mark Hamill was in it. Oh, that's yeah. all I knew. I didn't yeah. know what consistency. Yeah. And I thought if they did have Luke on, I thought literally it'd be on a screen far away or someone not you know not show yeah. space. Yeah. I didn't actually think there'd be so much. It was it, I, I, when I saw it, I actually paused it and saw how long was left of the episode, yeah. and I was like, oh my God, there's so much longer <laughs> left. I thought we were just going to have him just sort of showing up and then yeah. taking the baby or whatever. But no, it was yeah, it was fucking sick. I was really happy that we would see him do. A fucking like, well, it was very Rogue One Darth people. Vader yeah. thing. We're yeah. going down the corridor. Oh yeah, well, it was just, it, he had more options. He yeah. went through all these different things, and it was cool shots from like through the camera thing. Yeah, because we're like watching it like them going, okay. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. going who's <laughs> this guy? Um, I always thought you were just like fully acting, <laughs> like, like oh shit, um, but no, it was really good. Obviously, the, C- the, the CGI face thing. It's. I didn't think it was that bad. It's there was a little terrible. bit of value with his eyes. I felt like his eyes were a little bit set back, but. <laughs> they should, I, I'm surprised they didn't use um, Sebastian Stan or no, whatever. No, well, it, yeah, I, I kind of, I'm not. Really, it didn't sound like his voice. Be, I don't think it was even. I, that it was Mark Hamill's voice. It was well, too well, high. It, it definitely had some sort of like thing put on it. Yeah. But um, it was. I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like with the fact that he was only popping in for like one episode, if it was like a recurring arc thing and he was hmm. coming back every single week, maybe we might get a bit sick of Luke's fake face. Yeah. But I think for this, it was probably fine just to use him. Yeah, it's one of the things where <clears throat> obviously now with deep fakes, it's getting better, but. Um, after watching, I watched this thing where they had Tarkin and someone's deep fake Tarkin mm-hmm. now because obviously the technology is getting better like every six months. Yeah. So all they should do is like Mandalorian, you can only get on Disney Plus. They should go, okay, in a year's time, let's yeah. improve it and oh, just well, update it because yeah. it's not as if people have to rebuy DVDs yeah. or whatever. It's like, and the same with some Star- of the other ones, just like jabbering. Yeah. And it's also not home. like Star Wars don't really change everything. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, but it's like. It's just, I don't know. I'd also rewatched a bit with Leia in Rogue One where it's like, She's only in it for a... a oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's so hard to do. No, it is. Uh, but it, it wasn't like, hard. oh, what's that? It was just like, okay. I didn't even need him to take his take his thing off. But then as soon as he did, and he was just sort of in his yeah. like, little jab, oh, so sick. Yeah. Did you cry? No, but I... I, I even though I knew it was coming in some capacity, it actually... 
I felt it more than yeah. I was just like, oh, actually, I'm really excited. About this. And even Artemis just popping up. On yeah, mine. and I've seen him a place. million times. In yeah, every, and he always pops up in every film. But he's like, oh, there's Artemis. But I was but like, oh, it was it. like nice. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, are you sad about Grogu going? No, but I'm curious about how they're going to take. The, uh, I'm hoping the next, the outrider just turns up next. Oh, yeah, that would be really. <laughs> but just cool. where they, I, I'd quite like it if it got more down to sort of the bread and butter of Mandalorian just doing jobs. As yeah, a, as a bounty guy, or, or, or like or like even helping Bo-Katan with the with, yeah with getting back Mandalore with Ahsoka, maybe for trying to find Thrawn, just doing a couple of little odd jobs. But just I, less I just think it less 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 looking after the kid. Yeah, well, well, like, open well, up less, a lot more options yeah. where he's not constantly yeah. going, "Oh, where's my kid? Where's my kid?" But. I'm just, I could do with a bit of a break. Like, I like how, well, let's talk Boba Fett. Yeah, okay. Well, the Which book loads of people didn't watch that thing until book after. Book I texted a few people, I did, did you, you watch the after credit scene? You, you sent me the after credit scene, and I was like, oh shit, because I, I normally love the after credit scene, but they didn't have any concept art. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh right, well, yeah, I'll just stop it then. Um, but the, um, but the, uh, but no, that was, that, that that bit was really, really cool. Bib Fortuna, big, 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 Fortuna. big old bi- uh, bib. Um, I, 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 thought, I thought it was really harsh that he had a, a toilet. Still, like he's a Twi'lek. Yeah. He was a slave. Why has he got another Twi'lek slave? Yeah. Because those Twi'leks, Twi'lek women, are the most mistreated people <laughs> in the Star Wars universe. They are fully like they're yeah. all. They slaves. are mostly slaves or pit girls. Yeah. Well, yeah, but they're still slaves. Or Jedi's getting shot in the back. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I did like how it had the whole thing with the guys like it's supposed to be downstairs. It's like, I love that. I yeah, love yeah, that. It's the same cool. from I think it's when Leia comes down. With the, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I did like Jabba's Palace. It, it, with this whole thing, like I've really enjoyed the Mandalorian, but with these newer things. They're so clean and HD, and I kind of miss the. I, I keep saying dank, and I realize that's not the word, but do you know, like the kind of muskiness yeah, of no, Jarvis Palace. Musky. 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 That musky. smells musky. Yeah. Don't um, watch the verses. Yeah, don't um, watch the verses. <laughs> um, but it was just, it looked really cool, but it just, I was very aware, she just like, oh, this is like a um, a set. Yeah. It obviously, it wasn't okay. a volume because it was the wrong kind of size, but I just, when you look at a shot of Jarvis Palace and a shot there, it's just a bit kind of like smoky and just. Yeah. No, it I wasn't bad, that. but I was just like, it's it's. But that's probably all these things because the cameras are so amazing. It's just a different. It's like when the when the uh, the prequels, everything suddenly got super digital and clear and bright. And yeah. It's like, Ugh! And it's like I, the, through this whole series, I'm like when they go when they're tattooing and stuff when they're in the desert, it just it's not as grimy as I'd like it to be. I don't know what the. I film. feel like it is in Tatooine, even in. It's still, but not yeah, If you, if yeah, you see Luke right. going around, it's got kind of got that dirty old. It's probably because it was filmed in the seventies. Everyone's smoking. Like, yeah, so it's just like dirty, gross. Anyway, yeah. Um, but that's like. It's, it's only a minor complaint, but it's one of those things throughout the series. There's been little scenes where I was like, well, that all seems very clean mm. and super HD. And, but it's not. It's the same with loads of stuff. Yeah. It's just it's sort of unavoidable. But I just want them to I want them to film it all and then scratch it up a bit. Like, just... Yeah. What do you think is going to happen in the Book of Fett, then? So what is... Yeah. Do you think that... I thought the Fett thing was going to be... I, I was in the impression that the Fett series was going to be before. I didn't realise it was going to be after. What do you mean after? I thought it was going to be between um, prequels and... You know what I mean? Uh, oh, right, yeah, yeah. I thought it was just when it was Fett doing Batman yeah. and stuff. But no, I think this is cool. this is quite cool because I don't know. It, it feels like they could open it up to Hans, not Hans Solo coming in, but Ulrich uh, thingy, thingy oh, coming in yeah. potentially because like you know, Wait, but, but him after the Empire, you know, because he's still young. But I don't know. No, but where would that fit? Because well, he'd be after. Well, he'd basically be you he'd know be playing Hans Solo at the same age we've seen Hans Solo. Yeah, and then you'd have to play. Him and then there'd be like a bit of a thing because I, I kind of I didn't know how how they're going to do it. I thought Boba Fett was going to come back and pick them all up later. Well, they must have picked up the girl, Fennec, uh, the girl. No, no, Fennec. she was she got. No, she yeah. was still there. So but she then, must have gone past Luke. There's all these memes, but it's like the Boba Fett flying past Luke. Wait, what? <laughs> like, it'd be quite cool to see Han Solo versus Boba Fett in that sort of way. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 I'm assuming she's going to be because it's going to be like a limited series. So I don't think it's going to be a episode. Mm. So it's going to be like a short little series. So maybe it's just a few jobs. Yeah, or like him just taking over that and basically just cementing his place. We've not been back to Tatooine in any of it, now from that time onwards. You know, back to Tatooine in the film. Or we have him. For one final final scene. Oh yeah, but that nice was like another nowhere. Yeah. yeah, but he could have taken over the. He could be yeah. the hut. I, th- I think that was probably it for the Mandalorian part of this show. Was the series as good as the first one? Yeah, I think for it me. was, but I don't think the music was as good. Oh, and also Death oh. Troopers. No, I thought the music were was quite cool. I thought the music was. I don't know. They they, they broke out of that. Yeah. They broke out of that quite a bit, and they sort of made it more. I don't know. I quite like the drumminess. I quite, there was some weird like. 
Yeah, the, the uh, staff <laughs> not the hunt, sorry. When the uh, relaxed bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there was a bit of that going on when the uh, dark troopers were showing up. Yeah, it reminded me a lot of Dr. Quart, as I always do, is uh, Last of Us 2, where Last of Us 2, do you know how they virtually had none of the original music? But then right near the end, it was quite industrial, yeah. and then near the end, they started bringing in the old themes, and blah, blah, blah. It was a lot like that, because right that last yeah, episode, yeah. it did bring in the yeah. Mandalorian theme a lot more. But it didn't, wasn't, none of the new themes were as catchy as the old themes. That's what I'm sort of saying. You just like the kachunk, 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 kachunk. I did love that. Also, my, uh, I just paid my uh, import charges 40, 40,000 1p. Oh, so it's coming. going to arrive it's in coming. the next couple of days, it's coming. my LPs. Um, but no, I, I think it was better yeah. the first season. Yeah, I do as well. And, and you saying that after not watching Rebels and Clone Wars is yeah. actually quite, quite something because I thought I was enjoying it more because I'd seen that. Yeah. So that actually does say quite a lot. Yeah, no, I really loved it. What have you watched Christmas wise? Have you watched anything new? I watched Jingle Jangle. It was shit. Night Before Christmas, Muppets Christmas Carol. Those ones are. Um, Those are the only two musical Christmas. Yeah, they are musical. I I never really think of the musicals, but yeah, literally the song every minute. There's at least it's just coming in and out of songs. Um, what else? Oh, what should I think about the uh, Yorkshire Ripper on Netflix? You watch it? That's very Christmas, Jay. It was very Christmas. I, 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 I did, I'm sure I he killed people that. who in celebrated Christmas or was near Christmas. I also watched. Oh! I also watched Christmas Chronicles one and two. Uh, yeah, with with Kurt Russell, this it's will be bad. this will be nothing to ninety nine percent of the world. But I was watching the old Tripper thing. I'm watching it. They find a body in a, a lot near Manchester because one of the kills, right, kill, exactly. one of the kills, was right in Manchester. Where are Les Battersby? What the hell's going on here? He broke in Les and he run upstairs. Yeah, look what he's done to my CD player. It's barmy. I'm barmy. You're barmy. You and your whole family ought to be locked up, carrying the community. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, Crowley Street. Yeah. You found one of them. What? He's just there going. Founder over there. It's like, wait, who's this guy? Wait, is that Les, Les Battersby? Really? He's from Coronation Street, which is an English show. It's but like the longest they, running show ever, do they, I should think. Do they comment on the fact that it's Les Battersby on the show? No, but why would they go? Really? They'd be like, a no, young Les was... Battersby. No, not Les Battersby, <laughs> but a young Les <laughs> nice name. Whatever his name is. No, um, but it was just really odd. Anyway, it's worth watching just for Les Battersby cameo. Like, yeah, watch the Ultra River show. He just found for that. it and he was like quite upset about it. It was quite shocking because it was like, obviously, you found a brutally corrupt woman. But no, then I was just like, why are we laughing about it? Why are we laughing about it? It was just a nice little surprise. Um, so watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Not for him. So, what other Christmas films have, have you been watching? What other um, ones are we going to I want to watch Scrooge. Before? Scrooge. I've seen it before, but I've not seen it this year. Yeah, Scrooge. Um, Did you watch that weird um, uh, Christmas Carol? that came out last year from the guys who brought you Peaky Blinders. No. Right. It was really fucking awful. It was like the most depressing thing in the world. And Scrooge basically was like, was fucking, um, it was it Bob Cratchit's wife. Oh, God. And that's how Bob Cratchit actually got the job and stayed in his job because he was like, That doesn't sound Christmassy at all. Used. It was the worst the thing York in the world. They made him, Christmas they made him, they made Scrooge into the worst person in the world and then brought him on this massive redemption not, but you were like, you're still a fucking horrible person. In the Bobby Christmas Carol, Scrooge ain't that bad. No, the older I get, the more I think it's like, let's yeah. not waste money, let's just... I carry mean, on working let's work hard the, the whole like um, maybe they should just die and decrease the service yeah, population yeah. wasn't the best part yeah no, but a lot of people do agree with Thanos yeah, I feel like really Scrooge would be screwed uh, Michael Caine and Scrooge I think if everyone happened. had been screwed the, the country would have been stayed on its feet everyone been working like everyone's got homes to live in everything. it would have just been wow I'm just <laughs> <laughs> also okay. when he turns up with the big turkey it's twice the size of that rabbit guy yeah how annoyed would you be of if Miss Piggy? Because Miss Piggy's making it like a roast duck or whatever. Uh, and then no, no, how no, long would it take to cook? Bothered. How long would it take to cook? Well, it would take a long time. He turns oh, up shit, with it yeah. and it, no, it, looks, it, looks, it looks cooked. It's not. It's raw as hell. Oh. It's in the butcher's window. And uh, that's never instantly gonna that's it's not even going to get in So there. all the people coming out like this, like, oh, we brought all this food and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's like, right, Miss Piggy. wait. They were waiting for like six hours. And Bettina, yeah. what's the other called? Bettina. Oh, I'm Belinda. Oh, yeah, yeah, Belinda. And but they were waiting there for like six hours. Yeah, Just that like, was yeah. Turkey. Yeah, Turkey. Um, Surrounding Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim. Not Tiny Tim. Basically, guys, have a really awesome proxy. Christmas. Sorry, this year's been shit. I hope everyone gets a PlayStation Five. Yeah, no March one. or April. Probably. Yeah. Uh, enjoy Cyberpunk if you can. Um, yeah. Please watch our verses because it's been very much raining when we did yeah. that one. Yeah. Uh, and that, this will be it we'll, we'll see yeah. you next, in the new see year next year. thank you for all subscribers we've got 210 do you know what we need to do what best uh, things yeah we usually do the January February the last time we've got don't worry we'll give us something to do worry. in that long cold January yeah anyway thank you very much for watching goodbye goodbye they worked for Jabba the Hutt and they had orders to kill you but something's not right